Hey, welcome back again to new video guys. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Xiaomi Mi 11X other, Poco F3 other, Redmi K40, custom ROM wheels. Back with again this uh, ROM you are familiar with 1.0.24.2.20 developer edition by MEMETMA -E HyperOS Xiaomi here. And this is the latest build available and there are some initial bugs. I will be explaining that and details info and specs you can see here there's a version and android version is 14 here and kernel used here is 4.19.157 puff kernel has been used here uh, really smooth but there is a starting bug i'll explain that they have mentioned in the uh, check out description also they have mentioned in the uh, notes section that is important that system launcher keeps stopping i didn't flash that uh, zip file first uh, after flashing that zip file now it is working fine i am able to uh, access this home screen customization here currently i am getting accessing it because that was the bug and they have mentioned in the note section check out my description before flashing this particular rom guys i neatly explained everything there and what firmware i use everything will be explained in the particular description of this video you can check out and starting with the dialer you can see here you get that basic uh, mi ui dialer and you get that call recording feature also auto call recording other things you can select from here that's fine even with based on themes this icon going to change here and this is quick settings toggle mi smart hub smart hub if you want you can uh, remove that in the edit section there are few and there is a nfc option also but it's not applicable for my device but if it is a poco f3 then it's applicable for global variants both alioth in and alioth supported for this particular rom and the ui is really smooth you guys can see i've been using this for a couple of hours now just there is a problem in youtube that video is getting uploaded but it's not showing i wasted some time there anyhow that was the problem there from youtube actually that has been fixed now hence i'm making this video and fastly i can upload this again my device i have explained here and these settings are going to same more connectivity options again you get private dns vpn everything is working fine wallpapers and personalization here uh, you get this new lock screen customization of hyper os that's there as you can see that's really cool i have explained this in some of the videos already you can check out my previous videos and this customizations has been added here monet colors and these are the things you can check out fonts again you get me sans pro effects of this remain same nothing new here themes it will revert back to themes if you go here and these are the things you get here always on display again it is working fine you get always option is also available here no need to worry regarding that you can even choose the custom image from here and you can customize some of the things that's the wallpaper and personalization into the lock screen again raise to wake double tap to turn off screen when device is locked those things have been given here notification status bar again you get five icons up to seven icons is given battery indicator keep it outside the uh, logo and notch in individual apps if certain apps is playing in off screen or like that if you want to play that in full screen you can utilize that item show on the lock screen again smart device controls if you want you can enable if you don't want control center also you can remove from here and uh, me smart hub again as i said in the quick settings struggle if you don't want to see that just keep it none as you can see now the toggles are a little bit lower down i mean minimum here again these are the customization it's very similar to any hyper OS here and horizontal if i can make and show memory status ios kind of style is not given here but there are some customization might seem we need to manually make it kind of ios style let's see now it's just tile horizontally not a ios kind of style has been not implemented here vertical let's skip vertical if it is not available double click the desktop screen empty area enable blur advanced material is also given and there are some huge customizations available in this uh, home screen here arrange items that's there system navigation buttons and gestures and some samples and home screen again with the after just disable this app suggestions there are huge customization you can go through this once you flash the custom rom here and even here hyper os customizations show am pm and rounded tiles if you want you can make it out and add extra big tiles bluetooth plus flashlight let's check that yeah 
that's fine if i enable this let's check out no bluetooth plus hotspot if you want to keep none then nothing has been changed here uh, i think so it should restart the device anyhow max fps in all apps that's available here show weather show weather city weather description and all ios like dynamic island let's check that we'll make into mute here yeah it is tiny and visible compared to previous version what we have now let's make general mode silent mode is off that's fine even while plugging charger it is showing the uh, dynamic island kind of style there that's the new thing what you can see and hyper s customizations that's it nothing more ios status bar yeah it again we need to use this theme here let's see yeah currently it is showing like the ios kind of theme here we have applied and some widgets are also pre-installed maybe no anyhow these are the simple customizations available here and um, fingerprint face unlock and the screen lock i have opted let me show you the fingerprint unlock first as you can see this is always on display and fingerprint unlock i need to keep it uh, just this one touch it is in the press as you can see now it will be easy to unlock your smartphone using this particular arm as you can see and the face unlock is also very very quick as you can see just touch the screen it will get unlocked here camera application again you get proper hyper os kind of uh, camera here in the photo mode you guys can see all the new hyper os style this is and it's a leica integrated obviously and video you get a 4k only 30 fs that's fine 60 fs if you want you can use any g cam ports that's not a problem here i will complete this battery again you get four different options here if you want to keep performance mode while gaming you can do that balanced i recommend that battery server only if your juice is less don't use this ultra battery server it will drain the battery again and sound and touch again you get all the options here additional settings you get these sound effects you will get dull platforms as you can see and you get this similar to me ui nothing different here and hormone carton has been added that's the extra feature do not disturb those remain same here display and brightness again light and dark theme smooth and transition sunlight mode auto brightness advanced textures color scheme again you get plenty here keep it warm mm -hmm. reading mode is there a image and engine again three options super resolution let's turn it on yeah this all the options what we get now let me show you the some results what i got instead of file manager we'll go into this yeah this i already explained you need to aware of this you need to flash the file if you don't flash that the rom will be unstable with the launcher and 8 lakh 33,771 is the score 7.2 degrees celsius is the temperature is 6 percentage of battery has been dropped and 1128 is a single score 3305 is the multi score and from 14 links 4.19.157 puff kernel has been used set as profile match and basic integrity getting past you can use all the payment applications here and hdr 10 support is available drm information level 1 certified no need to worry these are the results what i got i haven't done read read speed test or anything like that i want to you open some apps here I want to show the uh, speed test here as you can see this is the apps running currently and it's fine as you can see app opening time is also fine everything is working fine you get this pre-installed browser if you don't want that you can check out others also and regarding wallpapers where i need to go yeah press and hold here what all the wallpapers installed people are curious about this this will not get download i don't know why super wallpapers yeah it's not getting downloaded anyhow these are the wallpapers pre-installed here and this one is my personal favorite in dark theme it actually makes dark as you can see currently i am in the dark mode no let me do it in the dark mode no that's not changing anyhow this is how dark mode looks like it's fine actually let me go into this record and show you these are the options you get in the settings these apps have been a little bit changed here you can check out those even the notes also these are the uh, minor changes you should definitely try this out even in the gallery there is a recognized table and all you can see text 
protective wallpaper i have made a dedicated shorts to those videos you can check it in my channel now let me show the bgma gameplay and end of this video guys and subscribe to my channel and there's a video here sorry the game smoke plus interface option has been enabled that's really cool even in the lobby and you also get hdr ultra hdr options here that was very close uh, real time fps count you can see here and it's in performance mode i have enabled that and you get uh, these options here bright and saturated and on screen comments and turn off screen while playing and record video take the screenshot voice changer yeah that's also available let's see how it handles actually even in counter attacks but again guys this is not a complete you will get idea just a brief here uh, if you play hours and hours that's different again again you won't compare this with again different roms or different smartphones also that's all the performance here gaming let's see one more kill if i can get It was even very close. Let's play. There was a little bit of lag if you can notice or not. yeah i will come back here that's the gaming experience in this particular room i really like this hyper os build guys for me 11x they are pushing some updates here regular updates that's a good sign and the safety net status getting passed and everything is working out here so this is a very great rom available for me 11x or the poco f3 or the redmi k40 guys if you want to use it as a daily driver, go ahead and flash this particular ROM and share your experience with this custom ROM in the comment section guys and if you're still not joined my WhatsApp group of this particular smartphone, join that. That link is also given in the description and many people are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel. Uh, thousands of people watch my video but only tens or twenties are going to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel guys. We'll be making similar kind of videos. We'll meet you with another interesting video guys. Until that, keep smelling. Bye bye for now.